Hi there, my name is Oscar Bashaw, and today I'm going to show you a quick overview on embedded analytics with Sigma. We'll start by talking about the core reasons that our customers choose Sigma for embedding, then we'll get into a quick demo. There are four main reasons why customers find success in embedding with Sigma. The first is that analytics with Sigma are quick to develop and quick to deploy. So Sigma spreadsheet like UI and drag and drop interface can help you accelerate your time to market and also reduce load in your BI or development teams. Second, Sigma allows you to offer a full range of analytical experiences from canned dashboards all the way to that power user experience. And you can offer a combination of these and monetize that as you see fit. Additionally, with Sigma, you can integrate seamlessly with a parent application. Whether that's matching your app's color and UX and theme, or building interactivity between the app and Sigma, you can do that with embedded analytics in Sigma. And the last point is that Sigma works with your security strategy. So no matter what authentication framework you're using for your application, or what the underlying data looks like in terms of single tenant, multi-tenant, or some combination thereof, Sigma is going to work with that and allow you to build analytics that deliver value for your customers. So what I'm looking at here is a supplier portal that this electronics retailer called Plugs Electronics has built for their suppliers. I'm going to start by logging in as Alfonso from the Acme supplier. And right now we're using username and password, but it's worth noting that if we were using SSO or OAuth or some homegrown authentication method, Sigma's embedding would work with that as well. And I'll explain why in a few minutes. So on this page, we have a few different things. Let me take a second to orient you. This sidebar and the top bar, as well as this recent orders table, are homegrown pieces of the application. They have nothing to do with Sigma. Across the top, we have eight visualizations, four of these KPIs and four line charts. And these are all individual visualizations that are coming from Sigma. On the right-hand side, this profit snapshot is a full page from the Sigma workbook. It's got multiple filters, multiple visualizations, and some KPIs. And what we're able to do is build some interactivity between this profit snapshot and the recent orders table. So remember that the recent orders is not coming from Sigma, but we can set up actions in the application to capture a click and set that filter on the Sigma embed. So when clicking on a customer name, we'll pass that into the Sigma embedded page and apply the filter. And the opposite direction is also possible. And so this allows you to really create that seamless integration between your parent application and Sigma embed, make it feel like one experience that really sings to your users. So this is great. This is kind of the canned experience or canned dashboard that you might offer to 80% of your, your users or customers. But there are always those folks who have the follow-up questions, who have to file tickets that you build a one-off dashboard for. Really, it'd be better if they could self-serve and answer those questions on their own. And in Sigma, we have that capability for those power users. So I'm moving over to a different page in the application now, this order KPIs page. What we have here is actually a full Sigma workbook embedded into the application. We saw the ability to embed both a single viz and a single page from a workbook, and this is the full experience. And for somebody like Alfonso, who's a power user, who's a little bit more data savvy or has some more questions, they want the ability to customize this view, apply filters, and build a new visualization, and Sigma gives them that capability. Now, usually without Sigma, that would mean that filing a ticket to your BI or dev team creates a pretty steep backlog and prevents your team from spending time developing a product and building a competitive edge. So in Sigma, this ability to explore and customize is really valuable. Let's say that Alfonso maybe doesn't care about these two charts, wants to delete them, and then he wants to add a visualization and duplicate this KPI and build something for profit margin, for example. He can do that. He can duplicate, do a sum a profit divided by sum of revenue using Sigma's spreadsheet-like formula bar here. Call that profit, format it as such. And now that he's made these changes, he may want to bookmark them or save them so he can come back later. And that bookmark capability is very powerful in Sigma. It allows users to save their work and also share it with teammates. So I can save this as a new bookmark, or even set it as a default. Additionally, if Alfonso wanted to export this workbook on a schedule or conditionally, or put it in a shared workspace so his teammates can see it, he can do that as well. And so again, all this brings back to the point that 
your users have follow-up questions and they may want to do that more in-depth analysis, Sigma's embedded analytics gives them the ability to do that. The last point that I'll touch on is just how we do security and how we actually embed, which is with iframes. So I'm gonna zoom in on this signed iframe here, and this is kind of the, uh, the iframe that's behind what we're seeing in Sigma. There are a few pieces here that I'll break down. I'm not gonna go through everything here, but just know that you can specify the user and the team and the account type via this URL. And this is gonna be something that's created and signed in the back end of your application. We also have an idea of a user attribute, which is what we can use to do security, do custom navigation and that kind of thing. So in this case, Alfonso is part of the West and Southwest region. And that's what's driving the role of security behind the scenes on this embed. So now once your application generates this URL, it will take it and sign it with your secret key. And that happens in the back end of your app that creates this signature, which is a one-time use. So if I tried to copy and paste this and send it off to somebody else, Sigma would recognize that this had already been used and invalidate it. Likewise, if I were tried to change this user region and, and see some data that I shouldn't see, that would also be denied by Sigma. So that's just a quick hit on iframes and embedding. There's a whole bunch more we can cover there. But this has just been a quick overview of embedded analytics with Sigma. So thanks for watching.